Hello and welcome to 1.6, the update you have been waiting for. 1.6, the horse update, the the update, fossilness. Anyway, it's 1.6, guys. Uh, well, not yet. It comes out. Let me see. Tomorrow. Uh, yes, this video should come out on Sunday. Uh, U.S. Eastern time. Uh, but, uh, this is the 1.6 update, and I'm going to show you everything in this update, and how it works and stuff, the mechanics. Alright, so let's get into this here. Uh, horses. Uh, so basically, horses are found in the wild. Uh, they're pretty rare, but not that, not too rare. They're found in plains. Um, not all plains, but parts of plains, and they, sp they spawn in plains. That's basically the place where they spawn. Uh, but once you see them, you can... Hop on them to tame them, and then they will kick you off a bunch of times, and then if you keep getting on them, did that guy have hearts? Yeah, he had hearts last time, right as I got off that, he like hearted for some reason. Uh, but then, then you're able to saddle him up, let me just grab some saddles here. then you're able to saddle him up. Uh, you can shift click into his inventory here to see uh, saddle and then any armor you want to put on him. Uh, but then you can just ride him around. Uh, basically the way you ride him is... Let's see if I can jump out of here. Here we go. Uh, basically the way you walk, except he just goes faster and stuff. Uh, same mechanics as walking. And then if you want to jump, you just hold the space bar. And then once it gets high enough as you want, you release it. Uh, so you see that blue bar down there, and you release. Uh, now just let me hop into survival here. Alright, so in survival, uh, you see the hearts on the horse. Um, that indicates basically health and how much health they have. Some uh, horses have a lot of health, up to 15 hearts, I think. And some have, like, 9 hearts. Uh, but that's... Riding and health, basically. Alright. Let's go, horsey. Let's jump over here. Alright, so now another part of horses is the horse armor. So again, if you shift and click into the horse's inventory here, you can put on a set of armor. Uh, there's gold, iron, and diamond. Uh, these can f be found in dungeons, and they are not craftable. Uh, I don't think they're going to be craftable anytime soon. I'm just going to put on the gold armor here. And it adds a bit of health, uh, so he doesn't take much. Uh, it doesn't say it there, but he actually has more health. Uh, and it also looks pretty cool. The gold armor looks pretty awesome, if you ask me. Butter armor. Um, okay, that is that. Now, there is two different other types of horses. It's uh, donkeys and then mules. Uh, donkeys, uh, do I have... Let's go in the... You just go on the creative here. What am I searching for? Chests. Now, most people, if you've been following the snapshots, you probably know where I'm coming with this. Uh, for donkeys, you can uh, click to add chests on them, or one chest. And basically, if you shift click again into their inventory, they can't put on armor, but there is 15 available slots that you can put anything you want to in there. Come on, boy. Alright, there we go. So we could put, like, anything you want to, really. Uh, there we go. Um, now, breeding. If you grab some wheat... I need to grab some wheat. Now, horses can breed, breed, and they breed with wheat. So if I breed these two, will they breed for me? Oh, yeah. Breeding is actually a glitch right now with a 1.6 overview. Uh, but basically, uh, with breeding, oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> uh, so basically, uh, 1.6 is, the overview is glitched out right now, so you can't breed. They'll probably fix that when they actually release it. But you would just, uh, hop on the horse, you would have to ride him to breed him. And then you would click on them, uh, with, uh, with wheat. It is broken, I would have to tame him, but they do have to be tamed in order to breed. And then once there's a small horse, uh, you can just grow him up by simply feeding him like 
hay bales, which is nine pieces of wheat, or uh, any bread, or any food, actually, I think. I think it's mainly bread, or... It's wheat, too. It's wheat. You can feed him more wheat. It's basically you feed him, and he grows up. Uh, the final part of horses, I think, yeah, I think the final part, is uh, leads. Basically, uh, this here is a lead, and this you can pull mobs around, uh, tug them around, everything except, I think, a villager. You can just pull them around, and then if you want them to tie them to somewhere and hold them down, uh, you just uh, click this on a fence post. Uh, and the glitch with a couple past snapshots have been that you can't um, tie them to a fence unless you have like another lead in your inventory, but that has been fixed. I'll show you here. Uh, let me just get rid of these. There you go. Alright, so you can click it in without another lead in your inventory. And basically, leads allow you to haul around a bunch. Okay. Go free, horsey. Actually, I'll just grab some more leads. Uh, as you've probably noticed over here, uh, leads can grab, uh, I mean, allow you to grab, like, any mob or passive animal. Uh, you can do hostile, too. And then you can just tie them to a pole, and these guys are just hanging here. These mushrooms. And they're bouncing up, having a great time. No, they're in the torture chamber. Uh, but basically, uh... I actually made a video about it, uh, how you can, it's so much easier just to transport animals with leads now. Uh, I think that's it with horses, so, uh, yeah, that's it with the horses, this update, and we'll see you in the new block new blocks. I absolutely love when you, then, uh, the Minecraft creators add new blocks to the game. Um, it's so exciting, and so many people come up with great building ideas. And this time we have, let me see, one, two, three, four, five. Or like, one, two, three, that counts as one. And then four. Um, and then there is a retexture. I'll get to that though. Uh, so basically the coal block. Finally, the last ore that can be created into a block has been created. Coal blocks are uh, created with nine pieces of coal and a crafting table. And a block of coal comes out. Uh... And then if you put the block of coal in a furnace, it will smelt up to, it acts just like the regular coal, smelting 9, a uh, stack of 64 plus 8, which it covers the 9 coal. Uh, and then another thing to note is the retexturization of charcoal. So now it kind of looks really weird and charcoal so it's easy to tell them apart now, uh, which is a good addition. Too small, but good. Next block is a hay bale. This is created by, hold on. I never did that, but it's uh, nine wheat in a crafting table, just like I showed you here with the coal except the wheat. And you get a hay bale, and basically you can feed this to the horses to heal them up or to make them bigger. And it's some nice decoration, especially for like uh, farms and stuff, uh, stables, you know that we can do stables. And I really like this hay bale block, and I'm going to probably use it for more. Uh, next block is hardened clay. Now, I really like this. Uh, first, people are coming out with like... Adobe houses and stuff, but this is so much more versatile, and you can do whatever. Um, but basically, you get clay from a pond or whatever, and then you put the clay balls in a crafting table of four, just like four in a row, and you get these clay blocks. And you just put these clay blocks in, and eventually it smelts into hardened clay. Now, with hardened clay, you can take the dyes of... <laughs> Uh, I forget what color that is. Uh, you can take the dyes of, like, any of the wool or any of the dyes you can create in the game. And you can just put clay in an inventory, uh, and put the dye with it, like, right next to each other. And it will stain it that color. Um, so basically this is the spectrum minus, well, let me see if I can find that. It's this one. Maybe not. Let me see, let me see. Let's go with that. There we go. Alright, so it's basically the spectrum. It basically mashes the spectrum of the wool. I like this hardened clay block because it has a smooth texture. And some blocks really go well with it. Um, I've created a couple designs already with hardened clay and I like it. 
Uh, the next block, well, I'll show you, comes out hard and quiet. <laughs> the next new block is carpet. Now, this can be added on top of any surface, and it won't add any height to it, which is great. So, it basically allows you to have a floor and then a ceiling, and then if you don't want that ceiling to be the floor for the next level, uh, then you can just add carpet over it and customize it the way you want. Uh, now with carpet, again, it has the whole spectrum of colors, and then like wool and hardened clay. And also with clay, you can just place it on top of anything, and it'll basically act as a cover. Um, with this, you can hide redstone pretty easily, actually, uh, and that's pretty fantastic. Um, but that's about, oh yeah, it doesn't add any height to the block, uh, so that's pretty good, too. And, and that's about it for the carpet. Alright, guys, so this part of the update is villager, huh? Huh. It's villager sounds. Yes, that's what it is, guys. Basically, they added sounds to villagers, and uh, well, let's let's take a listen. How you doing? Oh, you doing good? Doing good, guys? Yeah, you doing good. All right. Now let me see what the trade sounds are here. Uh, I have heard them just for you guys here. So, babe. See so if you put a trade in and he likes it and it offers the trade, then he will he will like it. He'll do a little huh huh, a little approval sound. Uh, I don't want to get that. Whoa, you're angry. I see. All right. Uh, though so those are basically the sounds, the normal ones, and then basically the trade sounds. And now, what are these sounds? Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh. Oh wait wait wait. This is good. Wait. See, look, now the uh, baby villager has a high-pitched sound. I want to kill this guy. And now if we kill the baby villager, please don't get upset with me, Mega. Everything's, like, high-pitched, and it's really funny. <laughs> you still take three hits, man. That's a strong baby. Oh, we got some emeralds on that. <laughs> Alright, uh, so basically I just killed our villagers. Here we go. Let's just put them back. There we go. Uh, basically, those are the villager sounds. Uh, at the end of this video, I'll take you into a village. I found one in this map. Uh, and I'll show you how crazy it is. I mean, people are hilarious. Uh, but another not notable thing of the snapshot is they added, like, kind of, um, how would you put it? Uh, like, they explain what these things do, like strength potions and then weapons and how much attack damage it does. Basically gave it stats and stuff, uh, and it just helps out basically with what to choose, especially for weapons. I've just found out like a gold and wood sword is the same. And then these potions, uh, these potion stats are really helpful too. Like plus 260% attack damage, like I did not know about that before and that's pretty crazy. Next up is name tags. They've added name tags. They can be found in dungeons, uh, in the overworld, or in actually the nether soon. I'll get into that time now. Uh, but when we do this here, uh, I can... Oh, jeez. Uh, I can do this. I can name it anything. Let me see. Uh, mm, Pete. Alright, so I got this Pete. So I named him Pete, and then actually, I can name a villager. Let me name you, son. Huh. There we go. I named him Pete. You can be Pete, too. And how about you? You want to be Pete? Eh, you're all Pete. You can be Pete, too. I forgot how to name the donkeys. I think it's like... There we go. I named it. There we go. And now... Oh, that guy's actually got a pretty good trait. Eh, not really. How do I name these guys? Anyway, uh, there's a glitch where... Actually, it's not a glitch. I think it's intended. But if you name a name tag Dinnerbone, uh, the everything turns up the, upside down. Um, actually, I can probably show you. And you can also rename 
uh, name tags. I've never tried this out myself, but I saw it on Reddit, and apparently it's pretty funny. And you can also rename horses. So he's Dinner Bone, and now he's upside, upside down. So everything is upside down if I name it Dinner Bone. So I named him Dinner Bone. I can't name these guys still. I don't know what's up with that. See, now they're upside down, and I love that. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. That is really awesome, actually. Uh, but that's proud it for name tags. Again, found the dungeons and the overworld. I mean, nether, uh, nether fortresses. And we'll get into that now. Uh, so basically, just created a nether fortress simulation. Basically, when you go to the nether and you load new chunks with the 1.6 update, uh, in the nether fortresses, things will spawn, basically. Uh, well, these chests will spawn just like dungeons. And you could find horse armor, name tags, diamonds. Anything basically that's in the overworld dungeons, and I really like this addition because uh, it you can really get more out of the Nether, um, and I don't know. I think it's easier to find diamonds. I've actually seen a couple of these overviews, and there's been a lot of diamonds found in these Nether fortresses. So definitely, it's worthwhile exploring Nether fortresses now. Um, so I'll be right back, and I'm gonna end off this video with a little something special. All right, guys, I'm back here, and we we have a village. Um, so let's step in this village, and just be quiet. All right, so this is basically all you hear in a village now in 1.6. And I'd like to say it's pretty awesome, and that's a little character to this game. Uh, yeah. They can get pretty loud. They all go at once one time, and it just, it just gets pretty loud. Uh, but just for curiosity, let's check out what's in this blacksmith, blacksmith shop. Oh, wow, that's, that's a lot, actually. Two iron chest plates, bread, iron sword, that's not pretty bad. I mean, could use some diamond chest plate, but, uh, it's pretty good. That is pretty good. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed this 1.6 overview. I'm going to love this update. Uh, I've already been playing on it with my server, 1.6. Uh, we play on the snapshots. I would check that out if you're new to this channel. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope it was informative and I'll lead. I mean, there was a couple more things in the uh, update, like commands and stuff that Seth Bling usually covers. I will leave a link in the description for the wiki page and the update uh, page and all the commands uh, using the command box and the uh, like clear weather and stuff and like the time set day and all that. There has been stuff with that, uh, but I'm not going to go into that detail. I basically covered the main stuff and a little more. Uh, what are you staring at, huh? Check what these guys have. Alright, uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Check out the rest of my channel, and see you guys next time.